Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm with Pinch Prop Industries, LLC. We're a St. Louis-based product development company, and we're here today to bring you the Pinch Prop. The Pinch Prop was designed to install kitchen wall cabinets. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to install crown molding, picture rail, signage, kitchen cabinets, and handrails. The Pinch Prop was designed to be used with most universal four to eight foot extension poles, and the pinch prop is not associated with any paint pole manufacturers at this time. So at this point, I'm going to show you how to set a kitchen wall cabinet with the use of a pinch prop. about the pinch prop is it supports the cabinets on the frame of the cabinet and the back of the cabinet not the bottom shelf of the cabinet. It allows you to put a level across the face of the cabinets so you can read the bubble at eye level. The nice thing is you don't have this thing on top of the cabinet where it can fall off and hit you, hit your head, damage your level or damage your floors. At this point it has a nice little perch right here in front of your cabinet and you can do all your adjusting with your level right in front of you. props and doing it by yourself. Now I want to show you why this tool can stay in your truck all year long. Every other day you're going to need this. Every time you need an extra hand, the pinch prop is what you need to get. The pinch prop will never call in sick. The pinch prop will be there every day that you need it and you only have to buy it one time. So now that we've shown you the basic purpose of the pinch prop, I'm going to show you why it's worthy of staying in your truck all year long. I'm going to set the props up in the corner like this here. We're going to start with a corner cabinet. Then we're going to change elevations going down this road and install eight different cabinets with pinch props. So I'm going to start with a little space in the middle here so I have a place to set my hand and get my hand out of there when I set this cabinet. Set it on the props just like that. Now you can check your plumb going both ways. Once you get it to where you want it, check, check your poles just a little bit. Now you can open your door and screw it in. With the use of the props, it allows me to stand on a ladder properly in front of the cabinet and not have to stand on the ladder and hold the cabinet at the same time. Okay, from this point, we're going to move down the run. I'm going to take my first prop out, and I'm going to move it over to the edge of my next cabinet. This prop here, I'm going to pull out, and I'm going to split the difference of my first cabinet so when my next one goes on these two styles will already be lined up and I only have to adjust the one on the right side. Okay. Once you get it on there, I'm going to tap the poles a little bit, get it line up. I'm going to set my level across them, double check that I'm running true. Then I, again I can open my doors and run my screws together. I'm going to go to pull the prop out and set it up to our next elevation. We're going to go up with this next cabinet. We're going to go up six inches with this elevation. Set it on there. We're going to check for level and we're going to adjust the props as necessary. Bring that up till it's perfectly level. You take this off, move it down to your next cabinet. Now, this allows us to put the ladder right between the poles, stand on the ladder square, and screw our styles in. I'm using my hand on this side, on the outside, to flush up my styles. And we're going to take a 
props down. We're going to reset our elevation. And grab our next cabinet. Set it down on the tools, adjust a little bit. Check it for level. Make sure we got the right distance down. We gotta go up about a quarter of an inch. We'll just adjust it as necessary. Once we get to our level line, we can take it off and screw in the styles. I can line up the styles and screw them together. From this point, we're going to move it over one more time. We're going to grab our 12 inch cabinet. I'm going to split the difference on this one. So these styles will line up. Since this is a very narrow cabinet, I'm screwing it in through the side of the other one. going to be up here above our range. And we're going to start it right about there. Right. Tap this one up until the style lines up and then I'm going to use my level to make sure we're still good and level. Okay. For those of you who like to install cabinets as sets, I went ahead and installed a 12 inch cabinet along with a 24 inch cabinet and we'll install those as a set. all together. And there is a full set of wall cabinets done with a pin sprout by yourself. Okay. Now that we've installed all of our wall cabinets, before we change the props to the mini props for the, cam the cabinet over the base cabinets, we're going to use them in an inverted fashion to install our range vent hood. I've got them set just a little bit lower than where they need to be, so I can slide this right in, keep a little pressure on it, and slide my poles right up into place to snug it up. Now we can adjust and make sure it's level and screw it in. It should be already level since we leveled the cabinets as we went, but we just like to make sure before we actually screw it on. Not having to hold this thing this whole time allows you to have that quality in your installation more so than guessing and adjusting as you go. And that's all there is to the inverted style of the pinch prop. 
From this point, we're going to switch to the mini props and go on to installing a cabinet over a base cabinet. Now we've installed all eight wall cabinets. We've used a pinch prop, we've done them alone, we didn't damage the walls in any way. Now occasionally you're asked to either install or remove a cabinet after your base cabinets have been installed. So I'm going to switch the props to a one to two foot pole now and we're going to use it on top of the countertop. And it's going to go in the same way they went with the full size props. We're going to put them right up under there. Now we can open the door and unscrew the cabinet. This, this is extremely difficult to do with a full run of base cabinets and all your countertops in. But even if you had a second person, this would be one of the most awkward events you'd have to do while installing cabinets. With the pinch prop, it allows us to remove all of our screws have the cabinet supported, move our ladder out of the way, and we can grab the cabinet and slide it right off. Same thing with having to install it after your countertops and cabinets are in. We'll go in the same way and allow you to get the same fit and finish as you did the first go around. We're going to start by hanging some floating crown up in this corner here. I'm going to flip the tool and invert the tool this way. I'm going to go ahead and put one up on each side of this wall because I know I'm going to do two of them. So I got one set up on each side. I'm going to bring my ladder up here in the middle, square with the work where I'm going to be nailing it. Start with my first piece of crown. Pinch prop will hold the other side right where I had it set. It allows me to nail this in. Now before I move my ladder, I can go ahead and put up my second piece. While I have my second prop already set up, it allows me to line up this coke joint nice and easy and make sure it's right before I nail it in. lower the prop a little bit since it was just supporting it, get my margins right, and start finishing it out. From here, we're going to drop it down and do our next piece of crown. And I'm going to get my tools set up, generally in the middle of the wall, and we're going to hang this 16 foot piece of crown by ourselves. So when I'm installing the crown with the pinch props, I hold it with its back to me. When I slide it up and set it on the tool, roll it up, and the pinch props will hold it, you can start to nail it. When I'm done with this one, I can go ahead and move it over to this side and get it ready for my next piece. Take this pole and my ladder back over this way. I'm going to set it up right over here on this side. We're going to go over our next piece. Same thing. I'm going to turn it upside down. Put it on the tool. Roll it up in place. Adjust my miter, my coat. Nail it in.
picture rail. We're going to install this 12 foot handrail by ourselves. I'm going to use the pace prop on the inverted ma manner, just like we did on the floating crown and the soffit crown up that way. So I got it on my level mark over there. Come down this way. I'm going to set it right up on my pinch prop and roll it into the wall. Grab my screw gun, find my level line, and get it fixed. Now I'm going to come down to the end here where it was on my prop, make sure I'm still on my line, and screw it in. Now that's a 12 foot handrail done without it. Without an extra hand. And it's just as easy as that. Okay, now we've installed all of our wall cabinets. We've got our range vent hood. We've got our 12 foot hand row we've installed by ourselves. We've put a base cabinet in, we've removed and installed the wall cabinet over base cabinets. Now we're going to turn around and we're going to install this very large sign on this wall by ourselves using the pinch prop. I have them set up in an inverted fashion at the moment on the mini props. I'm going to put my level across them to make sure we're getting it good and level right from the start. And we are. I'm going to grab the sign and set it up there. There you have it.